Welcome back to the show. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the show once again. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the scent that I wore today. And this is uh, Inspired Cologne by Polo Green. Alright? Inspired version of Polo Green. Alright, here we go right here. Close view. Close view. Close view. Close view. Inspired by Polo Green. Now, guys, starting off, I'm propping up a little higher. This thing right here, man. When I spread, I'm talking about something that lasts all day long. Powerhouse fragrance. Smell almost like 95% spot on polo green. Projection, I get about a good, I get about a good two and a half hours of projection out of this one. Thing super strong, woodsy, kind of slight citrusy. Uh, got that 80s vibe. If you like the 80s cologne, then you'll love that polo green. Longevity is somewhere between four and six hours. Like I said, that's pretty good. Considering this is an inspired cologne, this is not the real thing. It's just like I said, just an inspired cologne. But this is this is really good, man. It's a good cologne. I wore this to the store today. I went to the Family Dollar, but I wore it. And this thing, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, I got confidence with it. How strong it is. I told you guys I picked this one up from the Roses department store. And they back there in the cologne section, they had they had like a lot of inspired colognes. Um, and they also had the Door Sauvage inspired and they had Polo Sport inspired. This one. And I think there's another one. There's one more inspired cologne. But anyway, I, I think I got it. Did I get it? Door Sauvage. I think it's, it's, it's several inspired colognes. And when I go back, I probably grab a few more. Uh, they put out a lot of stuff now because it's getting close to Christmas time, Thanksgiving, and all that stuff. So, this thing smells amazing. I got a compliment with it just that fast. <laughs> just that fast, man. I got a compliment. Now, it's very um, spicy like. Get kind of like the nutmeg vibe out of this. It's spicy like. Smells so good, man. Um, you can spray this, and the way it smells and the way it settles, you you really won't offend anybody with this one. Oh, um, this thing just smells so so good, man, so good. And um, uh, it's old school. I and I told you guys, I'm a big fan of the old school colognes. I'm not real stuck on a lot of this new day stuff. I could just go back and buy colognes from the 80s and 70s and stuff like that. And I know they'll, they'll run cheaper, you know, now. But I can go back to the 70s and 80s and get some of the old school vibe. And I'll be satisfied with those, you know what I'm saying? Because I like the old school vibe because, in my opinion, colognes from the 70s and 80s and stuff like that. They projected better. They lasted longer. And I got super dry skin, as you can see. And I need something that's really going to last on my dry type skin here. See, I got that dry type skin. My skin is super dry. So I need something that's really going to last on my dry type skin. And a lot of times, I get a good longevity and a good projection out of the old school cologne versus a lot of... A lot of this New Day stuff is kind of soft, like, you know, they don't really last that long. I mean, you could pay $100 for some of this New Day stuff, and still might not get about an hour and a half of projection, and maybe three to five hours of longevity out of a $100 cologne. And you can go back old school, get a $15 bottle of cologne, uh, let's say a $15 bottle of Juke, uh, some people call it Yoke, but Juke Homes. Man, that thing lasts forever, you know. <laughs> Especially if you hit your clothes with it, that juke, that pink juice. Man, that, that juke lasts forever. I mean, it's going to stay in your clothes until you wash it out. That's why I call it 80s powerhouse, man. So that's why I go back 
deep back in the 80s and get me some colognes from the 70s and 80s. Oh, because the powerhouse fragrances, they lasted longer, they projected better and everything from back in the day, you know. Not like the New Day crap, man. It, it, stuff don't last that long. So that's why a lot of times I like stuff like Polo Green, you know, because they strong projection, very long lasting, and even an inspired version of, of it is, is strong and long lasting because it smells like 90, 95% just light. So this thing, like I said, I got four to six hours out of it, which is pretty good considering it's it's um a replica, you know. I'm like, dang man, and then I get about two to two, two to two and a half hours of projection. So can't beat that, man. That was what I wanted for the day. Great date night scent with your wife, girlfriend, um, good office vibe. You can want to offend nobody with this one. It's just like a spicy nutmeg kind of smell to it. Smells good to me. So, anyway, y'all stay tuned for my next video. This is scent I wore today. I just call it Polo Green, but it's a Polo Green inspired cologne. Because I don't want to throw you guys off, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just, it says Polo. I mean, it just says Polo, as you guys can see. Polo inspired. It says Polo. Till next time, I'm out. Stay tuned. Peace.